A severe accident occurred at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station on March 11, 2011. Thanks to the support of numerous partners, we have been making progress toward the completion of its decommissioning. We would like to show you what the power station looks like now while looking back to the time of the accident. Units 1 through 3 were operating at the time of the accident. They lost all power and the reactors could not be cooled due to melted fuel. A large amount of hydrogen gas was generated, leading to hydrogen explosions in Units 1, 3 and 4, which was connected to Unit 3. Currently, all units have been brought under control and are being stably cooled. This is the Unit 1 building at the time of the accident. At Unit 1, all panels of the cover over the reactor building were removed. Preparations for rubble removal are underway, whilst preventing the dispersion of radioactive materials. At Unit 2, the upper side panels at the reactor building, which were forced open by the impact of the hydrogen explosion at Unit 1, were closed. And, as a result, the dispersion of radioactive materials has been prevented. Now preparations for fuel removal are underway. At Unit 3, installation of the building cover and fuel handling machine has started in preparation for fuel removal from the spent fuel pool. At Unit 4, all fuel was removed from the spent fuel pool. With this completion, safety was secured and potential risks were eliminated. At Units 1 through 3, investigations inside the PCVs are being conducted using robots for fuel debris removal, which will be an important process in the decommissioning work. The seaside area was affected the most by the tsunami and hydrogen explosions, and there was rubble scattered everywhere. For the decommissioning work, a highly radioactive rubble was removed and the radiation level was lowered as a result. Removed rubble is gathered and stored on the premises and the facilities for storage and incineration are now being constructed on the north side of the premises. Most of the ground surfaces on the premises were paved. This paving prevents the dispersion of radioactive materials and lowers the radiation levels, which also helps to prevent rainwater from penetrating into the ground. Treatment of highly contaminated water stored in tanks was carried out by multiple approaches to extract radioactive materials. With the exception of some residual water, it has been completed. In the tank area, the belted type tanks used at the time of the accident are being dismantled one by one and are now being replaced by more reliable welded type tanks to prevent leakage. With the measures and efforts made so far, the working environment in the power station has significantly improved. At the time of the accident, 
workers had to wear protective clothing and full-face masks in every area of the power station. Now the area workers can work with regular uniforms and simple masks has been expanded to 95% of the whole area. This improves work efficiency. And the functions of full-face masks have been improved to allow a wider visibility range, which reduces the load on workers significantly. Measures for handling groundwater are also making progress. Construction of the seaside impermeable wall was completed to stop groundwater from flowing into the ocean. It was constructed by driving 30 meters of steel pipe sheet piles deep into the impervious bedrock across a width of about 800 meters in the seaside areas of units one through four. With this, the port area environment has become much safer. In October 2016, freezing of the seaside part of the landside impermeable wall was completed. It surrounds areas around the reactor and turbine buildings with a frozen soil wall and prevents groundwater from flowing into those buildings. Currently, freezing of the land side is proceeding and its impermeability will be continuously monitored. The work environment has significantly improved. A large rest house was constructed where workers can take a break. A severe accident occurred at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station on March 11, 2011. Thanks to the support of numerous partners, we have been making progress toward the completion of its decommissioning. We would like to show you what the power station looks like now while looking back to the time of the accident. Units 1 a severe accident occurred at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power station on March 11, 2011. Thanks to the support of numerous partners, we have been making progress toward the completion of its decommissioning. We would like to show you what the power station looks like now while looking back to the time of the accident. Units 1 through 3 were operating at the time of the accident. They lost all power and the reactors could not be cooled due to melted fuel. A large amount of hydrogen gas was generated, leading to hydrogen explosions in Units 1, 3 and 4, which was connected to Unit 3. Currently, all units have been brought under control and are being stably cooled. This is the Unit 1 building at the time of the accident. At Unit 1, all panels of the cover over the reactor building were removed. Preparations for rubble removal are underway, whilst preventing the dispersion of radioactive materials. At Unit 2, 